Jesus. All right, coming up next, I would like to take you into another program, which is called the Biotechnologies. And we have assistant professor, Dr. g n o k w a n s e r i p a p deputy directors, c a l w i n and then talk about this wonderful program. So take it away. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ Thank you, Kakun Oi, for your introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to introduce our program today. People might ask. What is biotechnology? Biotechnology is technology that utilizes biological systems, living organism, or a component of an organism to develop or create a product or process in agriculture, food, environment, and healthcare. So, the biotechnology industry is considered as an engine of innovation. These technologies are applied in food and agriculture, healthcare, including um, drugs and vaccines, forensics, biomanufacturing, the industry or industrial processing, biofuel and energy, and also environmental management in many useful ways. The Thailand Board of Investment or BOI recently approved. New projects in the field of advanced biotechnology worth uh, a combined 2.4 billion baht in investment, reflecting the increased interest of local and foreign investor in the country's biotech sectors. These new, exciting projects reflect investor continued interest in Thailand's biotech sectors, adding to our strong agricultural base and biodiversity. Thailand has now also a very strong pool of researchers that allow us to move into advanced technology. Tremendous number of job positions related to biotech technology are opening in the next five years. So the interdisciplinary to learning environment in biotechnology is our um, main focus. Our program has a strong interdisciplinary um, learning environment in biotechnology. There are eight departments from Faculty of Science come together, involving in our program, including Department of Biochemistry, um, Biology, Bi- Biology, Botany, Environmental Science, Food, Bi- Food Technology, Marine Science, and Microbiology. And the students can choose to measure in a various field, uh, such as animal biotechnology, or you can do plant biotechnology, microbial biotechnology, food biotechnology, bioinformatics, biotechnology management, marine biotechnology, and also environmental biotechnology. Let's look at uh, our program structure. The total tw- of 25 credits is the minimum for our program. You will get to do general education for 30 credits and the specialization for 89 credits, and also the free electives for six credits. During your four years of uh, study, the first year you will get to learn about basic science, and then that will equip you to continue the second years in the biotechnology fundamentals. And then for the third year, you could choose. Any elective courses um, regarding you are or relating to your field, your major that you choose, and during the summer you get to do the training. The training is the uh, internships in biotechnology in state agencies, uh, private organizations, or industrial factories. For the fourth year, is going to be a science project. You can choose to do a science project in the field that you would like to explore uh, further, or you could choose cooperative education. So let's um, take a look at the uh, more in each year uh, study plan. For the first year, first year you can see that the basic science is very important for people studying in biotechnology. So you get to do. Of course, the general biology and then chemistry. Chemistry is also very important, so you get to do uh, general chemistry and calculus and also essential physics. So that's the the basic for the first year, basic science for the first year, and then move to the second year. You get to do the concept and issues in biotechnology. This this will keep you up to date and help you to decide which major you want to go to. And of course, you will get to learn about computer and programming. That's very important, as you know, and also t- statistic. 
and you will continue more with the chemistry, uh, organic chemistry. And then for the second semester, during the second year, you will get to, to, to choose your major and you can uh, freely uh, choose any major that you like in biotechnology. And then you will continue for the, for the, the elective courses for the third year. So uh, for the fourth year, the regular, the regular program, you can choose to do a uh, cine project, the science, uh, pro the science project in any uh, field. And then you will get to learn about integrative um, science project as well. For the integrative science project, it's a science project that integrate various fields in science as well as social science and humanities in order to research, survey, investigate, evaluate, analyze, and interpret it to understand the in relationships between science and technology and social changes and their roles in solving various current social problems as well as to access the impacts from development in science and technology on society. And for the cooperative education is a full-time work in private sectors or industry, at least for 16 weeks. And you can also choose to do the exchange program abroad uh, according to your interest. And so you get to do all that during your uh, fourth year, four years of your study in our program. Um, let's take uh, a look in more detail about each major that you could choose for animal biotechnology, plant biotechnology, microbial biotechnology, environmental biotechnology, marine biotechnology, and bioinformatics. You will get to choose uh, the required electives. It's the same in those measures that I have mentioned in introduction to molecular biotechnology, biological sequence analysis, and also the general genetics laboratory that will equip you to continue your elective courses in each major. For example, in animal biotechnology, you'll get to study more about the frontiers in animal biotechnology, animal welfare, animal biosecurity, biology of disease, and generative biology. And for plant biotechnology, for the elective courses, you will get to learn the, the plant growing technology. And as you know, now vertical farming and hydroponics and plant factory is really huge in plant biotechnology. So you'll get to learn that. And also you get to learn about plant tissue culture. And also the if you are interested in a specific organism like mushroom, that will be the economic mushroom cultivation courses for you to, to choose and also the commercial ornamental plant production. So this will be what you will get to study in plant biotechnology. And then for marine biotechnology, you get to learn about the principles of uh, aquaculture, fish and shellfish nutrition, marine microalgal, culture methodology and also the breeding and lovely culture, economic uh, aqua animals. So these are for marine biotechnology. And if you're interested in um, environmental biotechnology, you will get to learn more about bioremediation, about the environmental waste, how to take care of it to, uh, to, the, to the goal of zero waste. And you get to uh, study about environmental science and the principle of biodegradation and bioremediation and also biopolymer in the environment. So uh, these technologies are very, very important to our environment nowadays. For bioinformatics, this is also a very interesting and up and coming measure that if you would like to learn and you have a good basic in computer science, you can go further on this uh, bioinformatics. So you will get to learn more about computer skills in bioinformatics, introduction to the genetic engineering and the laboratory, of course, and then you'll learn about genomic analysis for biotechnology. So those are uh, the major courses that you will get to learn in bioinformatics. And we also have biotechnology management field. So if you choose this measure for the required electives, you, 
will get to learn about industrial administration and management, management and organization, and also the, the principle of marketing. For the elective courses, we have the technopreneurship for you, and then also the green uh, technology. As you may know that green biotechnology is very important nowadays. It's the use of biotechnology to produce microorganism, um, plants, animals, and their components and to transform them into new products with environmentally friendly solutions and production processes. So these are quite interesting, right, to choose. And also you will get to learn about um, size communication because it's very, very important, right? Your discoveries will be useless if no one knows about them. So this is why biotechnology program plays a heavy emphasis on developing students' reading, writing, and public, spe public speaking skills. And then um, for the last measure that I would like to mention is the food biotechnology. The required electives uh, are the process in food biotechnology classes. And then you will get to choose the, for the elective courses, you will get to choose um, the biological chemistry for biotechnology, the biotechnology for food industry, the industrial microbiology, and then you get to learn about food product design and biotechnology for food industry. So with um, all this major that you can choose from that will equip you for the future uh, work or future career opportunities. So the career op opportunities, there are so many career opportunities if you hold a degree in biotechnology. As I have mentioned, biotechnology involves using biological organism to create products and new technology. Jobs in biotechnology can vary significantly in salary, demand, and outlook. Most biotechnology majors specialize in medicine, agriculture, energy, and environment. So popular biotechnology subfields include um, gene therapy and vaccine development. When the world came to a sudden halt due to the COVID-19 pandemic, everyone turned to the one group of people who could let us back to safety, the medical scientists, and not just any medical scientist, but those who held biotechnology degrees and could develop vaccines and drugs to combat the virus. So this is just um, one example of the many types of career paths biotechnology majors can, can pursue. Society constantly faces problems which can often be solved using a combination of biology and technology. That's why there will always be a job market for biotechnology majors. So you can see um, these are the examples of biotechnology companies um, involved uh, the energy company, uh, med biomedical company, plant production company, animal uh, welfare and uh, uh, marine products company. So these are the examples of uh, biotechnology company around the world. And also for the future, if you would like to pursue your study, your, your postgraduate study, there are several opportunities, multiple op opportunities that you can choose from. You can choose to stay at Chulalongkorn University or you can choose to go abroad. So there uh, several biotechnology program that you can apply to and our program will equip you to be ready to study in those programs. So for the admission requirement, so uh, I believe that is the same as other programs that you, you can apply for the early admission during this upcoming December and also the admission, the regular round in February to March. You need to submit your English uh, proficiency test and your mathematics proficiency test. For the English proficiency test, you can choose to submit a score in TOEFL or IL or uh, SAT, uh, the reading and writing part, and CU, AAT, and all. You can also uh, choose to submit the CU TEP score and also the ACT score. For the math score, you can choose uh, to submit the SAT score or SAT math level two or CUAAT, ACT, IB, and A level math. If you pass the qualification for the first round for the English score and the math score, you will get the, uh, to do the interview with us. 
that will be a 40% um, score. And we'll look at your mental alertness, your problem solving skills and your maturity and advancement uh, potential. So, and if you have any further question, you can contact us at the BB Tech office that located uh, on the third floor of the TAP building faculty of science, or you can contact us uh, through our website. This is a BB Tech student lounge, uh, which is ready for you guys to come and join us. And um, let's come change the world with us with biotechnology. And you can contact us directly through our website if you have uh, further questions. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Assistant Professor Dr. Kanok Van Seripap, our Deputy um, Director for this BBB Tech. Are you ready to discover something new? Are you ready to make the difference? If you say yes for all of this, BBB Tech, BB Tech is the good program for you. So please come and enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Kap. Thank you, Kap.